Qualitative to quantitative workflow can often be quite time-consuming and frustrating for analysts, so TOF DS simplifies this process as much as possible. To begin building a quant method from the data processing window, the peaks of interest are firstly added to a target table. When this is done, they appear in the table of target retention times, and any information that has already been applied to the peak, such as the top hit in a library search, is automatically transferred across. In addition, quantifier ions and qualifier ions are automatically added, but you can choose to override this default decision and select your preferred ions if necessary. Selecting new ions will update any of the ratios that have already been calculated. To set up the rest of the quant method, we select the calibration icon, which automatically transfers all the information from the retention time table. The calibration view shows the same quant and qual ions, with graphics of the TIC, the EIC overlays, and the annotated spectrum for each of the target compounds. The next step is to add the concentration levels. Defining one of these peaks as the internal standard makes it available in a drop-down menu for all the other compounds. To complete the concentration levels of each of the standards, we define the start point and dilution factor for the first one, and then, when we add the next level, the concentration can be automatically calculated. This means you don't have to type in all the individual concentrations, helping to speed up the qual-to-quant workflow. Applying these settings to all compounds means that the quant method is almost ready to use. The final step is to define suitability parameters, and it's up to you how many of these you'd like to apply. If these settings or threshold values aren't met during the quantitation process, the samples or compounds that have failed are flagged up with a red cross, enabling you to see at a glance if there have been any problems. A brief description is shown for each parameter, making it easier to decide on the threshold value that should be used. As before, these settings can be compound-specific or easily applied across all of the target analytes. The method is now ready to be saved, making it available to use within the sequencer as part of a batch process. Once a quant method has been applied to your samples, either in real-time or through a post-analysis batch process, the calibration results can be viewed in the Quant Results module of TOF-DS. On the right is the list of quantified compounds. At the top is the list of samples. In the middle is the calibration curve with the equation and R-squared value. And at the bottom are the same TIC, EIC and spectrum graphics that we saw when setting up the Quant method. Combined with the suitability flag system, this layout allows users to quickly review the calibration information in a single screen. The suitability flags highlight any peaks which have failed to meet the set criteria with a red cross instead of a green tick. The same goes for the identification flags, where you can see if the quantifier and qualifier ions are present and if the ratios are within the specified limits. If a ratio is slightly outside the specified limit, you can override the initial software decision. Finally, any changes can be saved and a calibration report can be created using the icons at the top.